day everybody and this is a review for kit number 30529 mini master builder emmet uh, this is a three in one what's unusual about this three in one is it's a poly bag three in one so you can only set type things um, picked this up at target yesterday um, got it mainly because the three in one also I like the look of the neck I'm a, I'm a sucker for neck so yeah I really am but what we're going to do here today, because we're not longer doing any speed builds, is I am going to basically be unbagging it, and we're going to do each build in turn, and basically do a quick review of each build. Most likely I'm going to end up stuck in the mech, because I really like that, and I don't too fun of the, uh, well, let's cut the picker here, which is what it is, and the vehicle, which is the vehicle. I'm wishing me now some of the MS in my, uh, in my build, but, you know, we can cut with two clothes. And I kind of like the character, he's wonderfully optimistic, beautifully naive, but amazingly good-hearted and he's a good message for all and good role model for, role model for kids. What I also like about party bags is it's a throwback to the old small five dollar, well two dollar sets used to get from Lego, uh, especially like space scooters, space buggies, uh, that kind of thing. And this is a good, these are good entry vehicles into basically building Lego itself. They're affordable, they give you nice little sets and then, you know, when they fuck them well they are doing really really well. As I said, it's a poly bag, it's 49 pieces, so I'm not expecting a huge amount of stuff out of this. There's the front, there's the back, basically a little information. This was made in Condens, Condens in Denmark, Hungary, Mexico and China. Okay, I think this was packed in Mexico. This is a Mexico pack kit. Uh, it's got a feet left to uh, Legoland, um, basically the uh, big metal store, destination store. So, we're going to bag. And then we're going to start building. So basically, once we're doing the unbagging, I'll come back and I'll show you each one in turn, where I thought of each building in turn, and then basically do that through that sense. We're no longer doing speed builds on this channel because it's not a pain, but I just don't have the facilities to really show this way I want to show it. So it's unbagger. Comes across nicely. There's all my bits. Goes into my bit tray so I don't lose any other things. Check my bag, make sure nothing else in there. Put them on the side, watching lots of bits, a little bit of emmet all over the place. It's actually a good way to basically get emmet for your kid too. A little instruction leaflet, so we'll go from there. So we'll see you. Huh. Huh. Okay. That's a little difference. You're only going to get the instructions for one build in this bag. Um, I thought it'd be three in one. You have to go on to buildmoremovie.com and basically lego.com buildmoremovie2 to basically get the instructions for the other kits. I don't like that. Um, takes away some of the play value of the set. Um, I'm already not happy about that. Because you know, I don't like my kids going six yards flying around on the internet and then have to get the internet out and anything to use. Um, so that's a down already. That's a, that's, a, that's a big thumbs down from me on that. But we'll do each build in turn like I promised and then we'll go forward. So we're going to start with the build that the instructions come with, which is the picker type uh, construction machine. I'll show you that and then we'll go through the other ones. Okay? I'll see you in a minute or two. Bye. And I am back. Okay, this is it. This is the picker. I'm going to call it the picker. It's not really, uh, what it is. It's a fun little construction vehicle. Um, the build took me about uh, three or four minutes. It's a fun figure because it's put together. It's not too challenging in terms of a build. Articulated arm, which is nice. Uh, and that's a bit of I've got three pieces left over, uh, which really. There's a light piece and a, and a uh, light piece here, and a clear piece here, and a piece here. here. Great for getting hold of the Emmet figure. This is a fun little little, little doodad, booba. Goes around, picks things up. I'm just going to get some fun out of it. It's a little back heavy. I might actually not got it on here. Let's see if we can afford this a bit. I've got a better way distribution. There we go. That's a little fun time. Um, it's nice and it's fun. There we go. It's like a mini excavator, picky arm type thing going on. Kids get a lot of fun out of this. Um, I got it from many because it's free, one looks unusual. Great way for your kid to get hold of it. I don't think if he's really a big fan of it. Uh, so there we go, turn it around. Eee, eee, 
you see, it's okay. I mean, it's it, it's good it's good value for money. Good play, good good play value here. Now I've got to go out onto the internet now, find the other two other two kits, and I can show you what goes on there, which I'm not too happy about having to do. Kind of want to hurt them to basically, you know, put the instructions in there with it to make it a more inclusive three in one. But no, it's nice, and I like the idea that they're doing the internet thing. But I think it's the wrong direction. It takes the the the, the play value. Oh, one thing we're thinking about Emmett before we move any more forward. forward is we have the two Emmett faces, we have the happy face, we have the scary face! I'm scared! Oh no, I just played Hobby Wong! Ah. Emmett impression, terrible, terrible. But here we are, we have an Emmett figure. I think one of the primary motivations of buying a set will be getting it. But I'm reviewing the overall, I'm not reviewing each build, so I'm going to go find the next build on the internet and then I will come back to you with that one next. See you in a minute. Bye bye. And I'm back. Here is this the Lego Emmett car. First, before we go into the review, it was a horrible experience trying to find these instructions. I went out to the, uh, the web address, which was basically Lego.com, Lego Movie. Lego Movie. Ah, I forgot the URL because yeah, that's what I do. I swear to God, I forget my kids' names, and I didn't have a stamp on their foreheads. Yeah. Uh, Lego.com, build my movie too. Couldn't find this kit on there at all. So first off, kid buys this, this kit, gets very excited, goes to, goes to the website. Oh, it's the instructions, instructions. It's not even the, in the official kit list. I had to go out to Lego.com and go to the build instructions, then basically put in the number. Then I found the additional instructions for this. So yay, Lego. Big fail there, really big. First off, you release an official Lego Movie 2 kit, put it in the sets list, okay? Kids want to feel in included. Now they're going to feel like it's like a third party knockoff, not even recognised Lego as a thing. So that made me really unhappy. Second off, you made it almost impossible to find the additional instructions. If I didn't know the building instructions were on Lego, I would not. So if I didn't know where to find the building instructions for other kits on Lego, I would not have found the additional instructions for this build. All in all though, the vehicle itself is kind of satisfying, it's a nice little vehicle. Um, could do a little bit more height here, but I think we're limited by the, the bricks that we have in the set. I like the, uh, show this here, I like the mud, the, the mud slap thing going on here. I like the, the tilt on it, it's got a nice, it's got a nice little drag to fill. It rolls smoothly, and it sits high in it. It definitely looks like it's got some kind of a speed profile going on to it with the, uh, the, the, the lunge forward. It does roll satisfactorily. All in all, actually not that nice, not, not, not actually a horrible little kit to build. I enjoyed building it. I actually enjoyed it a little bit more than the pick the the pick up felt a little unsatisfied to me. But, come on Lego, you can do better. You make amazing little toys that engage and basically build the imagination, but you constantly fail in the digital realm. Watch with that crap. Come on guys, do better. That being said, we're going to build it, bring out the instructions for the Mac, which is going to be the final build and most likely where M is going to stay in terms of the vehicle thing. So I'm going to dismantle this again and bring out the third build and make the Mac. Um, let's see what happens, okay? So I'll see you in a few minutes. Bye bye bye. Hello again, and we're back. I made the Mac. Now this was very satisfying. I am a sucker for the Macs. I've always said that was ready. This is what they think I they should have really led to when they made the main build. Emmett is associated with like mech type builds, um, and I think this is what she's done with. The arms are fantastically done. The use of the uh, real axles for the main joints works really well. Got a nice solid feel to it, sort of thing that Emmett would build. Might have seen a lot of fun though, and the control levers would probably would be better. This does stand up by itself. Like that. You can have hours of fun with this walker. I think it's much better than the actual pick and picker. So you know, this is the one we're going to stay with. I'm not going to build back into the Pico at all. It's going to be probably, you might see this in Legoville later on, in one of my Lego videos. And we're walking around this, you might actually see some variations in the design that made this appear in my construction crew as well. I like the feel, the look of it, it's nice and compact. I like small mechs ever since the Alien uh, exosuit. That's a really inspiring way to basically build, build these type of things. Got a nice feel to it, it's nice and solid, it looks like things, balances a bit, it's not the greatest in the world when you basically try to separate like that too much, but it does stand up by itself as you can see. In all though, my biggest 
excited about was basically you have to find the instructions that are online and then you dig the instructions online. And just so you know, yes I did swap the the colours around the legs and like the yellow facing gives that construction vehicle build build to this and at the heart of it, Emmett is a construction worker and he knows these things. What can I say? Um, I was excited by it being three in one. Disappointed that they scared to find two sets of instructions online instead. Disappointed that the Lego hid those instructions and you had to basically know or have some knowledge of the Lego website to actually find the additional, the additional pieces to make instructions to basically make the two builds. So that upset me a little. And I wasn't very really impressed by that at all. You know, they've done some lot of good things with the bricks that you get. It's one of my bricks and you get three relatively really good vehicles. Though I do agree that the Mac is probably the best build in the world. I would guess advanced build. Good set to get your kid. If you really want to have it, and they'll actually buy it at the same time, you should have a short change. I think it cost me six ninety nine, which is actually pretty good value for the Lego. Disappointed that basically it's not featured in the, the official Lego movie two sets. It should be. That's a, that's a poor point. The kid's gonna get excited, show it off. His kids, get, his friends are gonna go and say, "Hey, is that an official kit? You've made it up." But I haven't. I haven't. It's really, it's true. So that's gonna cause some issues there. So come on, if you're gonna make the Lego, make it a Lego Movie 2 kit, make sure it's an official kit in the official kit list. Not hidden, because you know some of the polyback kits seem to be hidden all the time and they shouldn't be they are official Lego pieces. The build of the map is good, the build of the buggy is good, the build of the Pekka is good, the belt I I'll feel them. I prefer this one. I really do. I think this is really cool. I need to put a cup of coffee mug in there actually. Yeah, we can put a coffee mug in there, that'd be pretty cool. And um, we'll see what's going on. Going to go there. This is a, this is more an Emmett type build you expect than a other type build. And I think that really, really has made me feel a bit better about this kit now. I was really upset when I went back to find there's only one set of instructions in there. So beyond the fact that basically you have to basically search online on the Lego.com website, I recommend. Go to lego.com website and go to building instructions in the drop down menu and type in the uh, the uh, kit number which is 30529 then you'll find the instructions on how to build the other two sets um i think this is actually a nice nice kit for a kid it's a good kit kit i actually like it because i like the max but i'm a sucker for max all three of them are satisfying all three of them have got good, 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 great play value emma is obviously a lead character and play character in, the, in, in this uh, in lego movie 2 Long related later book, he's a good character, has a good, good moral, good instinct, good heart, and I think that's a fantastic example. I love what they do with the axles and the neck, that's great as well. Good 3 in 1, 3 in 1 instruction, so it should really be in the set with the other uh, ones, so you don't have to go out and clean that's the final of the guys. And if you've got any internet, don't hide the instructions, okay? Okay, Lego, you got that? Would I recommend this for a 6-year-old? Uh, it's a little fiddly. Probably seven, eight year old probably get get more value out of it. Um, the mech build is nice. You may be a grandparent building this first kid instead. Um, the pick is kind of fun to play around with. The buggy is the buggy, but it looks just look just look. It's got some speed and looks a little mean about it. But the mech is where I think this kid is at. With that being said, and now that is my review for kit number three zero five two nine, the three in one uh, Emmett Pekka robot buggy set. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please leave your comments below so I can hear your thoughts about uh, this, this set if you pick this up. Uh, also, please like and subscribe and hit the bell, which means you receive notifications of our next, next videos. We're stepping away from the views a little bit more as we go forward because we've been concentrating on the main focus of our channel, which is basically Lego Phil and other, other topics that we basically look at. We don't have resources to basically do lots of what we do because we don't basically buy lots of Lego kits because, you know, and one day we'll actually get to that point that we can. That'd be really, really cool to do. However, we will review what we think kits I think are significant and fun, which we will keep doing moving forward. We think I thought this was a significant kit to review, and um, I thought it was just going to be a fun little thing one to show you guys instead of turning to basically a little deeper, deeper dive than that. But I think you need to know that basically that sometimes Lego doesn't do the best job in basically uh, bringing the play out in their toys. Um, so in this case, this is not just one of those sets. That being said, I'm not going to leave this in a downer. I enjoyed the Mac. The Mac is probably the best build in the set. Um, if you can, go ahead and build it. Join the music in the background. That is actually Celtic Women. Uh, nice 
means I'm probably going to get dinged, but we'll see what happens. Um, that being said, thank you for your time. Have a great uh, day, and I will be seeing you when I talk about Lego So have a great one, and cheerio!